Hey everybody, I'm dead and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance last time. Honestly, I don't remember what we did, but I'm sure it was something that I consider fun and many people didn't. Today, let's do a fun favorite. Let's do a need and run. Eden, Eden, Eden starts with random items, random stats, random everything. And yeah, right now we see that we have less than optimal speed, bad tears rate, good range, uh, quite good damage, like under one and average short speed. We start with the Yam Heart. It's what do you call it? A health regenerator or whatever you want to call it. And empty vessel. It will give us flying and the occasional protective shield whenever we are out of red hearts. Bad combo there to begin, but maybe we can make work with it. Adrenaline. Adrenaline is a syringe, comes towards the span transformation and also makes it so when we have empty red heart containers we gain more damage. So maybe let's find the devil beggar or like a blood donation machine and make use of our current items. But you know, the game started us with Yam Heart 2, which regenerates our red health, so it's kind of like it's mocking us by giving us adrenaline. But what can you do? So why am I not doing any special runs or challenges? I actually am preparing some, but they are kind of wacky and hard to get down, so yeah, give me a bit to make them happen. Specifically, I am planning to record something after this session now, so yeah, be prepared for something good. Devil card is a damage up. We have no bombs and no chance of getting bombs from what I see. Uh, maybe if we bomb the donation machine, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's try the, try the pill. Short speed up, luck down. Okay, can't say it's that bad. I would love some tears up items and yeah, of course, speed and damage. Now, remember what I said in a previous part, we calculate and compare the stats of other characters with base Isaac, the main character of the game. So our current start stats are a bit suboptimal, I would say, but damage saves it. Break the poops just in case we get money? Nothing. Also, our ticket is Lucky Sack. At the beginning of each floor, we get a sack drop, which gives us some consumables, and it's good to have. Put out the fires too. Chance for coins? No? Okay. Ooh, when we get sloth. Just get rid of the ads. And whatever he spawns. Yeah, yeah, I'm not liking this tears rate. Damage saves it, but not for much, to be honest. At least our starting health was good. Two red hearts and two black hearts. It's it's nice, it's nice. I have started the runs with one blue heart, so yeah. You can see how bad it can get. Focus on him, leave the maggots roaming, but also avoid them and dodge them. And you're dead, my friend, for a just card. I'm not complaining, actually. Gave us a blue heart, a key, a dime, and a troll bomb. Yeah, that, that kind of bummed me out. Let's go back to the shop and see if we can buy a bomb. Who we'll also break, or put out rather, the rest of the fires. Now we should keep our coins over 5 because it spawns, it has a great chance to spawn uh, an arcade on the next floor and we need that in order to get rid of our red hearts. There, there. Maybe it's a good idea going devil deal. Mm-hmm. I would like to buy bogo bombs, but I will just buy a blue heart and go face the boss and sure activate. Devil card 2 for plus 2.95 damage. Always good to get rid of the gerglings fast. And get out of the way there. Nice dodge there. I say as I'm about to get hit. And tarnish my good dodging. Mm. 
better. Of course I would get hurt. Another health up. And one that comes with regeneration. I will take it. We need the health, despite having, you know, empty vessel and adrenaline. Floor 2, there is the sack, a bomb and a coin. Fantastic, let me give you the seed. X, 6, F, C, 1, P, 1, L. Let's find that arcade and get rid of all of our red hats. Ooh, also... Yeah, I don't care if you take my charges. I don't use ham heart. Also a library. And the item room is just there. I need keys. I need bombs, I need keys, I need good items. Should we go library first? Actually, yes. Ooh, I like both the Bible and... Telepathy for, for dummies, because it's homing. I'm going to roll with the Bible for a bit. Let's bomb you just in case we get a key. No, we got something that uses keys. We are gonna go with the Bible just in case we need light for some room. Pick up some items or whatever. We seriously need to fight the arcade or a demon beggar. Ooh, coin. Also good. Yeah, use the Bible here. Because always items will spawn in the middle. Get rid of whatever you can first. Now, what I said about the arcade, let me clarify it a bit. At every even-numbered floor, not odd-numbered floors, you, if you have five of or more coins, you get a chance to spawn an arcade. The arcade can have many things inside, specifically slot machines, um, three skull monties, and blood donation machines, and all that. Experiment appeal, lack up tears down, that was the worst thing we take. A range down. Okay, game. Mm, blanket is too good to pass up here. But I do need the keys. Let's buy the blanket first and see where we can go with that afterwards. Our tears rate got even worse because I wanted to take the pill. So is Eden fun to play? Of course it is. Of course Eden is fun to play because of the high random factor. But sometimes things can get too random with the items and the starting items and the starting stats. So, yeah, be prepared for wackiness. We should drop back there and open either the item room or the chest that's in there. I'm gonna go for the chest. I shouldn't have gone for the chest. I'm thinking the boss is on the west part of the map. Ooh, interesting. Petrified poop makes it so poops have a better chance of paying out. We will enter the cast room for half price since we can use flight right now. And we get Gap is... Oh, now things do get interesting. Gap is poison is an active item. No charges, whenever we use it we convert a red heart container to three soul hearts. We are going to take it, use it all, and now we have flight due to empty vessel, also full health that we just tarnished a bit. Also, excuse me saying tarnished all the time, it's the Elden Ring spinning. Oh boy, oh boy. Ludovico Technique. It's a weird item. Makes it so our tier stays on the screen, it's controllable by the attack buttons. Many people hate it. I actually like it, but under certain conditions, specifically with brimstone and homing. Yeah, I know, I'm asking for a lot here. Maybe it's a good idea going devil deals this time. Sure, use homing here, make our life easier since we get two charges for the large rooms. That's the L rooms and the big square rooms. Also notice that what do you call it? Empty Vessel does not give us Spectral Tears, so yeah, remember that. I like homing, it makes the game so much simpler to play. Yeah, flies and these things. 
I still have learned the names of the enemies and I don't intend to. Unless I see some response in these videos and I have a reason to. Maybe. Maybe. Horspiel, I don't know what it is. Bombs are key. Okay. Monstro number one. And it's just him, no ads, that's good. I shouldn't use a bomb, but it would make our life so much easier. Yeah, keep spamming the jump attack, yes? Buckle up, people, this is going to be a slow one. Now, notice that we didn't get the damage up because of adrenaline, just because of the fact that we don't have empty red hard containers. That's how this item works. Why? Empty vessel works by us having no red hats at all. Be that in the form of not having red hat containers or having empty red hat containers. And once again, what I've said before about Azak is shown here. Patience is the key to this game. You will find yourself sometimes facing bosses and doing minimal damage and get bored. But what are you gonna do? Now, should we go Devil Deals? I mean, let's check it out. Three chests. Spiders. Bombs. They're all bombs for that matter. Okay. That's why I say that they're not worth it. Let's go down. Now, if we hadn't gone inside the Devil Deal, our next special room that we'd spawn at the end of the floor would be definitely an angel room. But, since we entered it, now the chances are half and half. Still, there is a greater chance of, an eye, of a room spawning at all, so that's something to be worried about. We get keys, we need keys, yes, we said that before. We don't care about this. We have flying now, thanks to Empty Vessel. Oh, found the boss room already. But we will not find, fight the boss yet. I'm afraid it's going to be Bambino, and Bambino at this damage is just bad. Also, this tier 8, as I said, does not help. Let's find the item room in the shop. Oh, a uh, coin beggar. Sure, let's bomb you for a better chance at a deal. There, there. Raised by a bit. Just stay away from them and snipe them. Slow process, but that's what you get when you play as Eden. That's what I was talking about. The high randomness factor. Ooh, got hurt there, doesn't matter. We have lots of health. And a challenge room opened up. Okay, this is interesting actually. Dead Eye. Dead Eye makes it so whenever we hit an enemy, our damage raises. Whenever we miss a couple of shots, our damage goes back to normal. With homing, that is amazing. But... Yeah, you have also the cases that you don't have homing available, so you have to be very careful with your shots, lest you lose your damage bonus. Nice item, surely will save us now, but it gets kind of hectic trying to always be accurate, at least for me. Let's go face the challenge room, now that we have homing. Ooh, and it's a big chest. I shouldn't have used... I shouldn't have used my... Telepathy for damage until I was sure I would open it. Doesn't matter. Ooh, and I just wasted my damage bonus because I compulsively shoot. There, there. Be careful with your shots and keep your damage bonus. We need more keys, people. <laughs> oh, 
All right, maybe key. I'm going to keep it for now and find the shop and more keys. Secret room here, of course. Bomb these guys. For a nickel and a better chance. Ooh. Counterfeit penny. Whenever we pick up a coin, we have a chance of gaining one extra. No matter what coin it is. And the host. Ah, got hurt there. More keys are good. Super secret room? Of course. Ah, uh, sure, let's bomb these two. Yeah, more keys. Let's check out the shop. Let's use a bomb instead of a key. Since we can enter through the secret room. Nothing that interesting. I'll buy a key and I'll buy the card. Or a temperance machine. Might be useful down the line. And this is going to be a slow process since our movement speed is just bad. It could be worse, but it's still bad. And it's open oh, for a whole lot of treasure. Also, I like the color that Dead Eye, fully fledged Dead Eye, gets with uh, the psychic shot from telepathy for damage. Ooh, ooh, bad hit there. And one more wave. Lost the bonus because apparently I missed. There. Now, was there anything else interesting inside the shop? Let's go check it out. Ooh, some coins still in there. Oh, it's up on the corner behind the map. Ooh, and another nice room here. Many chests usually means something good. Usually. Now we use the bomb there to get both the coins and the entrance to the secret room from this side so we can go to the, fl the floor, I said, <laughs> the shop faster. Now notice that hitting fires or poops doesn't break my dead eye bonus. Why am I doing this now? Not in order to get coins, just to be safer. Ooh, and the golden bomb would have been useful earlier. Sure, pick up our gifts. And... Once again, we go inside the shop. Ooh, more coins from you. No, just a sack or a key and two bombs. Let's, yeah, destroy you too. Nothing interesting. Okay. Um, we have enough money, so let's get the lucky sack just because we can get keys and bombs with it. And I think sometimes cards or pills too. Can't remember exactly. I don't like mom's tunnel. Occasionally, mom's foot will drop down on enemies and damage them. Ooh. And we get another cash room that we will enter. We are looking for Gappy items. I can't believe that in these videos that I have uploaded, I haven't gotten Gappy once. And honestly, since Repentance came out, it's quite harder to get Gappy. No, we will not get Gappy. And that's a full clear again. Let's go face the boss. I said earlier, it must be Bambino. No, it's the Forsaken. Okay. Don't be afraid to use your bombs offensively. Especially if you have a golden bomb. And no special room. Experimental treatment. Four stats up, two stats down, including health. Uh, at random. Please don't give me health. You gave me health. Okay, but you also gave me damage and movement speed. Those I can appreciate. Curse of the Unknown, we don't know our health. Also, yes, the sack can spawn troll bombs, so that's that. Now, if placenta works and we get the regeneration, we're going to lose our flight. 
and I don't like that. Having flight is... It's just amazing. Mm, let's get the stone chest near to the red chest. Another guppy item. Guppy's head. One charge active item. We use it and we spawn blue flies. Attack flies. I am going to take grids. No, don't take the heart. Grids bone. Ah, I picked up the other heart. Since we have enough money and we don't want to see grid inside the shop. That's exactly what that trinket does. No grid spawns inside the shop. Sometimes it doesn't work though, just so you know. Okay. We will use our Tempera Scald and get rid of our red health if we need it. No, no, Secret Room can't be there. It isn't right from the other room. Oh, and a room full of hosts. And boom to you. Just one left. There. The sun. Sure. We want mapping. Okay, I can see that we can skip some rooms. I have plenty of bombs, so let's blow this up. Needles are the worst. Ah, well, no. They're not. There are far worse enemies in this game. Sure, let's use another pill for lack up. Yes. We desperately need tears rate. That's not tears rate, that's giant cells. Every time we get here to have a chance of spawning a mini version of Isaac that follows us around and shoots along with us. I could have used Temperance Machine there to get Flight, but I forgot about it. Hierophant spawns two blue hearts. Fantastic. Let's go visit the shop. There they are, my little friends. Is this worth it? No. We are keeping it for a rainy day. Inside the shop, oh, we get a bunch of stuff. First off, let's break you and you for an eagle. Nan's habit makes it so whenever we take damage, we restore one charge on our active item. Soul heart, we need it. Sure, another temperance machine. Okay, I can make this work. We have flight now and the damage bonus from um, adrenaline. And by the E2, get rid of the spiders. Now reroll. I like blue candle, but it's not the time for it. Buy another kit just to be safe. Broken stopwatch, I don't like it. Kind of options, don't like it for now. Smelter, meh, but I will buy the soul heart. Keeper sack, now there's an item. Keeper sack makes it so whenever we buy items, we get a small stat up, like so. I will buy the compass and notice my stats on the left. We get a bonus on movement speed, damage and range. Now, the damage bonus is so big because of the dead eye effect. And if we buy the key, we're gonna get another smaller boost too. Just movement speed. The more expensive the item, the better bonus you will get so we need to make money and visit all the shops now and since we have grid bone grids whatever it's called we won't have a chance we have less chance of grid spawning inside the inside the shop brain fart again over there so if you guess that this is going to be full clears it's going to be full clears clears just for the money And our little cell friends are doing good work. Not much, but they're doing their best. So, yeah, it's good. But please, Gabe, give me a tears up. There. Oh, that hurt. 
there, there. Starts flies again. Yeah, let's use the book. Break the rock since we have many bombs. And we need to keep a full charge for the boss. It will make things easier on me. Well, there is our full charge. Super secret room full of bombs. We could play him a bit to get some money and potentially a bomb upgrade, but not feeling like it. This recording is already at 16 minutes. No, no, 26 minutes. Brain fart again. It's going to be peep. It's okay. I could use flight. I still have a holy mantle chart because of Blanky. Blanky gives us a blue heart and a holy mantle charge only for the boss room. And just one charge. Good dodge there. And you die. Special room? Special room. Glass eyes, a damage up and luck up. So it's good. Ooh, we get more of the void. We like more of the void. We only have one red hair. Red heart container, and we're going to lock into our devil deal. So let's buy Ouija board first, spectral tears. Means they can pass through obstacles and more of the void. Our health must look like poop. Let's go down. Depth one, dark, dank depth one. Okay, we have had some health. More of the void makes it so whenever we charge it up, we do this black ring of death around us and it kills enemies. Back in the days of After Afterbeth Plus, it was my favorite item because it had the chance of spawning black hearts when we killed enemies. Also, it pairs up with homing, so what's that? See? It chases them a bit. Fantastic. I still love more of the Void. I still think it's one of the best items you can get. Because it's an extra attack mode. Just look it that way. But nowadays my favorite item is Toxic Shock it, in hard mode. It makes clearing floors so much easier. And I love it for that. Items I would like to see now. 9 volt. It would be an amazing help. Secret room could be here. Or here. It's not... Wow, amazed. Well, now I'm not so amazed. And the big room, use telepathy for dummies. Yeah, yeah, one thing I have to say is that now that we got more of the void, I'm going to use it a lot. Go inside the item room. For rocket propelled bombs. Rocket ninja. Now, when Repentance came out, it... You threw the bombs, the rockets, the way you were facing. You were moving, rather. Now you shoot the rockets in the rocket form the way you are targeting and shooting your tears. So that was a good upgrade. Or a good change, rather. Ooh, ooh. Secret room is here. The cross will make it so at the beginning of its floor we get one eternal heart. So if we carry it to the end of the floor, we're gonna get one red heart container at the beginning of the next. So I don't want it because of what do you call it? Uh, empty vessel, yes. Please give us tears rate, movement speed, and I guess damage. Laser spiders are a joke when you have flying. We should be buying everything, but let's be smart here. Bomb him for a better deal chance. Kill the spiders. Buy this. And buy the jar of flies. Now, keep the rest of our money for the next shop. Or maybe something good. Tryon? No, don't care about it. Uh, super Secret Room should be here. It's not. I'm guessing nothing left but facing the boss. 
or when we spawned a dark microshell. And this over here, I think, is a double tinted rock. You see that little X mark on the top left corner? I think that means it's a double tinted rock, double marked rock. Requires two bombs to break. And we get small rocks, speed down, damage up, tears up. It's a tears up, so I can't complain. And we get wall creep. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, we can get up to his face with more of the void and deal with him quickly. And no deal, fantastic tears up and two soul hearts. Moving on down. All we need now is more tier rate and movement speed because we are moving slow. Temperance machine, don't need it. And even if we did, we have one available through our temperance card. Gappy's eye and we've got Gappy, ladies and gentlemen. Standard flight and when we hit enemies, we have a chance of spawning blue flies. Now we don't care about empty vessel giving us flight. Also, Gapizai makes it so we can see inside chests before we open them. Also inside fires and keeper corpses, what they're going to drop, if they're going to drop anything. Ooh, I feel much better now that we have Gapi. Still, it's nice to have the seeds from an uh, empty vessel. Move the void, empty vessel, Gapi. This is amazing. This is a winning run. If I lose this, I don't know. Same on me. I will not risk it and play the sacrifice room. Uh, sure, let's blow everything up. Better chance at the devil deal. 85%. I have lost at 90%, so yeah. Ooh, and there is the marked skull for the full card that we don't need we are not making it to has or boss rush so yeah no worries about it. see now you see the purple flame here we can see that if we mob it it will drop a blue heart but that's up to the game to decide if it's actually going to do it yes it was actually going to do it there's the boss room let's go back to the shop and the item room honestly what i want right now is 9 volts so we can have what do you call it um, homing every room be it double room or single room secret room could be here it's not dark bam dark bam picks up red hearts from the floor and for every one half it picks one and a half rather it has a chance of spawning some reward but sometimes it can be in the form of an enemy spider, so yeah, a bit risky, but worth it in the end. Charge baby is good, but not useful right now. We will blow you up for the coins, and we are going to reroll. Mm, glowing hourglass is good. Starter deck, 10 soul peels into cards, and we can hold two of them. Boomerang, no. The battery. The battery is good. Let's re-roll just a couple more times. Ooh, I would love Bloom Up. Can we actually get it? I don't think so. It doesn't matter. Let's buy something else for the bonus. Uh, the sack, obviously. And there we go. Let's go face mom. 90% chance of a devil deal. Place your bets now. Ooh, and Dark Bomb picked up the heart. Well, hold on. Hold on there, we might get Blue Mat still. No, we will not. And he spawned a card, a full card. Spawn the Temperance Machine here and blow it up for the secret room. Coins, one coin. I need just one more, but yeah. The Keeper's Corpse is not going to give it to me. Maybe the poops? No. Okay. 
Hello, ma'am. Charge up, move the void, and destroy her. Um, I mean, we're not doing a victory lap this time because it has already taken so much, but sure, let's go, dark room. We could do a victory lap if we get something amazing. Am I going to risk taking a blind devil deal? And that's why you shouldn't. Betrayal makes it so whenever we get hurt, enemies turn against each other. And Brimstone Bombs does this. That's all. Let's go play the challenge. Or a blind item again. I never learn. Ooh, we get a blue heart, lack up, and two keys. And double Gemini, blue variant. Or another blue heart. Fantastic. We have the compass, so we have a vague idea of where the boss is. Let's go towards that. And also get the coin here. Secret room, I'm guessing. I'm guessing right. We have a 100% chance of a devil deal because we lost it at 90% last floor. Any arguments there? No? Okay. Okay, I think we're going the right way. Also, we went to the devil deal room, so it's kind of pointless. You know. Getting our devil deal chance at 100% now. The reverse stars card, I think it takes away from us our first item that we got, and it gives us two pedestals from which we choose one. I think I'm right. We'll check it out in just a bit. But I think they are a current room item pool dependent, so maybe we should use it on the next floor where we can see. Room 2. God hurt. It's important to laugh at yourself. Delph up. Can't say... Ow. Can't say I worry too much about it right now. Since we have flying. Secret room should be here, north here. It's not. Maybe here. No. No, no. It can't be there. Okay. We can go face mom and come back do the rest of things we want afterwards. But we also get a dice. I was a bit in a hurry there. It's a five. Uh -huh. Five will make the forget me now peel effect which will make us repeat the floor don't do that ever again there is our secret room let's use the reverse stars card okay four it took away Ooh, it took away adrenaline from us from us and i think we lost the span effect let's get bookworm Get back our homing and also rune bag. Uh, the Necronomicon deals room wide damage to all enemies when we use it. And rune bag occasionally spawns, well, runes for us at the end of a room when we clear it. Let's go face the boss. Now, if we use the five room, we will be effectively facing Mom's heart twice. Do we want that? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? Should I have used the reverse task card in a secret room that has a reroll machine? Of course I should have. But, 
Okay, this recording is taking too long already. Easy kill. No deal. That shouldn't have taken that. Oh, we lost. Yeah, we've lost, uh, what do you call it? Adrenaline, so it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going to enter the curse room, even though there is really no point in that. Yep, yeah, absolutely no point. And sure, let's repeat the floor, just in case we get another deal. Maybe the game will decide, you know what, you shouldn't have lost that chance, so... Here, take it. And no soup de whoop. Okay. And another library. That's kind of weird, actually. Satanic Bible gives us a black heart. We are going to use it, but I am going to keep my homing. I prefer it. Monster Manuel will summon a random familiar. And Book of Sin will summon a random consumable. Like a pill that I shouldn't take. It's pretty fly. I will take. Now, a smart player would keep Satanic Bible with him. But I'm not smart. Crystal Key has a chance to open uh, red rooms when we clear... Well, the room we are currently inside. It didn't do it now. Soul of Apollyon spawns a bunch of locusts. There, there. We are losing health, but that's because I'm playing recklessly. Let's carefully go in the middle here. For a soul heart and a bomb. Another pretty fly, yes. Let's bomb everything up. Just in case we get some hearts for Dark Bomb. Okay, just half a heart. Dark Fistula spawns Black Flies on Death. Relax, it's okay. Black Bomb Flies, I should say. Ooh, weird room. Also, the pet we caught from Monster Manual is G Little Gerdy, which I actually like. You charge her up and she just throws herself onto whatever is in front of her. Emperor card will take us straight to the boss room. We will use it next floor. Day guys. Removes curse from the floor and also gives us a blue heart. We need a blue heart more than anything. So we can lose it right away. Yeah. Secret room. Super secret room. Should be here. Game. Come on. Okay, game. Okay. Let's go face it, leaves. Use your homing shot. No, you spawn the red bastards that I don't like. But homing makes things much easier. And you're dead. Devil deal? No devil deal. Okay then. Golden pill. Multiple use of a pill. Infested. Fourth, we shoot uh, an Ipecac tier. 48 hour energy is good, but trip is not. Infested is not. Amnesia, we don't care. Lemon party, and it's done. Let's go down. Lost the heart out of it. Meh, <laughs> it's okay. Made it to Seoul, we have to face Satan. Now we should use the Emperor card right here and head straight to him. Ooh, and there, Crystal Key worked. And we found the Ultra Secret Room. Yeah, nice. Let's see what items we will get. Blood Bag, it's a health up. Not bad. Lassers are bad. We don't like them. A Golden Heart. Again, we don't care. Let's go the right way. Let's check for the secret room here. Ooh, and we get Steam Sale and Keeper's Box. Keeper's Box 
can be interesting. It spawns viable items, including the possibility of premium items. I walked right into that. Oh, into that rock, and also we. The game decided we will not get Steam Sale. Also, don't forget that we have the Keeper Sack. So, maybe it's a good thing keeping it for a while at least. Red Ghosts. Soul of Azazel. Useful. There's going to be a little bit of back and forth here. We can't buy a heart though. That sounded poetic. Sure, we'll keep Soul of Azrael for now and come back and pick up our Emperor card. Get rid of that one fast. I will return to the secret room to use Keeper Box just in case we get. I shouldn't use another experiment appeal. Just we get a, in case we get a premium item. We did not, we got a key. We are going for a soul full clear. It's stupid doing that. But it might be worth the risk. I forgot I have the battery. Yes. There, there. And final room. Moving back to the shop. Blank room. It was Degas. Okay. Blank room. Blank room, rather, has a random rune effect. And also has a chance of respawning itself when we use it. Let's go back, use Keeper Box twice, and then get our book and leave. See? It was worth it. We got a premium item in the form of school bag. Now we can carry two active items. So we can use our Keeper Box once again. And Dark Bomb, come on. Give me a Soul Heart. That is an attack spider. I mean, honestly, there is not even a big risk here. I'm just having fun. Ooh, another red room. With red ghosts. Appropriate for a red room. Ooh, we are going to use in here, even though it wasn't that necessary to be honest. Super secret room could be here. It was not. It could also be here. It is. Nothing worth it. Let's go in there, use telepathy for dummies, wait a bit. Drop a bomb here. Bad. Bomb drop there. Use soul of Azazel on Satan. So we become demon versus demon. And wait for the feed. There, there. Easy stuff. Let's go back to the secret room. Ooh, we got a Yera. I should have Yera that black heart. Let's go back to the secret room. Use Keeper Box twice and get the flip out of here. We are already closing to an hour. And this is a simple run, mind you. It's not something fancy happening. Alright, that's it. I should have Yerat the bomb. It's okay. We'll have another secret room. No, 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 no. I mean, should we just take the Emperor card and be done with it? Sure, we'll clear up some rooms and if we see that things get a bit, you know, tricky, we will just head on towards the lamp and finish it.
made in the dark room. Let's see our items. And it's going to be the mark. The mark is good. Damage up, speed up, I think, and also a couple of black hearts. Yes. Uh, Lord of the Pit just flies and counts towards the Leviathan transformation. Not that worth it. Blood Doth. At the beginning of its floor, it drains all of our red health but half a heart, and it gives us an equivalent damage bonus. Spectral Baby, sure, why not? Whenever we shoot through it, it doubles our tears. So, let's get in there and start killing things. Or get killed by things. Secret room not there. Okay, okay. Maybe I should just go face the lamp and finish this. Mm, let's use Keeper's Box. Sure, okay. We got a soul heart of it. I'm not aiming for a full clear, but I might do it. Ah, uh, you know what? No, screw it. Enter here. Get Capi Scholar, we don't need it. Use Emperor card and face lamp. Use this. Use your book. And I'm not feeling like a victory lap, so let's leave it here. Thank you everybody so very much for watching. I really appreciate you watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel, click the like button if you like the video, click the dislike button if you didn't like the video, leaving a nice comment, all those things help my channel grow, and as I said, I really appreciate them. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have fun.